Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to break down the difference between hash set and linked hash set in Java. Both of them are implementations of the set interface and both are used when you want to store a collection of unique elements. Let's get started. Let's start with the underlying data structure. Hash set is built purely on a hash table. That's what allows it to store unique values efficiently based on their hash codes. Linked hash set on the other hand is built using a hash table plus a linked list. The hash table ensures uniqueness just like hash set but the linked list is added specifically to maintain the insertion order of elements. Now let's look at ordering. Hash set does not guarantee any order. The elements may come out in any sequence depending on their hash codes and internal hashing behavior. Linked hash set maintains the order in which elements were added. So if you add three items in a specific order, they'll come back in that same order when you iterate over the set. If maintaining the original order matters, linked hash set is your choice. Let's talk about speed. Hash set offers better performance overall, especially when all you care about is fast insertions, deletions and lookups. Linked hash set is slightly slower because it does all the same operations but also needs to update the linked list internally to keep track of the insertion order. So you trade a little performance in exchange for predictable order. In terms of null values, both hash set and linked hash set allow one null element. Since these are sets and only unique values are allowed, Java permits exactly one null and adding a second one will simply be ignored. Now let's talk about memory usage. Hash set consumes less memory because it only stores the values and their hash buckets, no extra links or references. Linked hash set has higher memory overhead because for each element it also stores links to the previous and next elements to maintain order. That extra bookkeeping increases memory usage, especially in large collections. When it comes to iteration, hash set is typically faster since it doesn't need to consider order, it just iterates over the hash buckets. Linked hash set is slower in comparison because it has to walk through the linked list structure as well. That extra overhead makes iteration more predictable but slightly slower. For removing elements, hash set is fast and removes the item using hash code lookups. Linked hash set is also fast but the key difference is it removes the element and maintains the original insertion order for the remaining elements. So you keep consistency even after deletions. And finally, the most important part, when should you use each one? Hash set is ideal when order doesn't matter and you just want the best possible performance. Think of scenarios like checking for duplicates, building lookup tables or storing unordered tags. Linked hash set is the right choice when order matters. For example, if you are storing a list of recent items, commands or menu options and want to remember the order in which they appeared, use linked hash set. So to sum it all up, both hash set and linked hash set store unique elements, but they are built differently. Hash set is all about speed. Linked hash set is all about order with decent speed. The right one depends on what matters most to your application, performance or predictability.